playing the two sides of Cruella, Estella and Cruella. Um, it, it has, it's been, it's been really interesting. It's also been interesting to kind of gauge the tone and how different they are. It's one thing to read it on the page, but it's another to really try to do it day in and day out. Um, how much of Cruella is in Estella and how much of Estella is in Cruella. Um, but I think it's kind of fantastic because it's the personification of those two sides of her hair. You know, there's kind of like the dark and the light. Um, but one of the great things I think about the way that Estella, the, the original Cruella is written is that she's not, if she's the white, she's not like this pure, sweet, um, kind of unattainably, you know, perfect creature. She's full of vim and vigor and she's feisty and smart and is a con artist. So she definitely has um, a lot of personality, which I love. To first see the entire look of Cruella together, I have to admit, I took a lot of pictures. I did a lot of my like, you know, I don't have social media, but I would imagine that when you do and you want to take pictures of yourself, that was like my day as Cruella. It was a very narcissistic day, which is perfect for Cruella. Um, it was just, it was so cool. It was so cool to see, to see, you know, people that talented bring her to life in that way and me get to just sit there and have this hair and makeup and these clothes put on me. It was, um, felt very lucky. I love that garbage dress. It was, I hadn't seen it in person. I had seen pictures of it. So putting it on was just like mind blowing and a 40 foot train. And it's just, um, it, it's like things you only ever imagined and think you would actually put on your body and carry behind you on a garbage truck. Um, yeah, and the, I, my, my favorite piece of, of clothing that they created was the coat at the very end of the movie. The coat in the, the last scene is just, beyond stunning, and I am hoping they'll let me take it home with me, but I doubt it. <laughs>